Welcome to Hubson's Aircraft Plus HT-011A Transmitter Tutorial video. In this video, we will introduce the connecting procedure of the Hubson H216A, Hubson H507A, Hubson H501A, and Hubson H501M to an HT-011A transmitter. The connecting procedure is the same for all four models. This tutorial uses Hubson H501A as a demonstration Long press the video button and power button simultaneously. The 2.4 signal light will continue to flash on the transmitter. Connect the aircraft to its battery. The aircraft will bind with the transmitter automatically. The 2.4 LED indicator on the transmitter will remain solid. The LED should be flashing in a rotating clockwise pattern. Compass calibration. Rotate the aircraft horizontally in a clockwise direction. When the LED on the aircraft to flash in vertical pairs alternately. Point the head of the aircraft downwards and slowly rotate the aircraft in a clockwise direction. The LED indicators on the aircraft will turn solid. Compass calibration completed. Simultaneously pull the joystick diagonally down and out to start the aircraft. You can also use Hubson HS001 screen with these models for better flight experience. Long press the binding button and power button simultaneously. The 2.4 signal indicator on the transmitter will start flashing. Turn on the HS001 screen. Then connect the aircraft to the battery. The aircraft transmitter and H001 screen will bind automatically. The 2.4 signal indicator on the transmitter will turn solid. The screen will display real-time image. The LED should be flashing in a rotating clockwise pattern. When the HS001 screen shows Calibrate Compass 1, proceed to calibrate the compass. Rotate the aircraft horizontally in a clockwise direction. When the HS001 screen shows Calibrate Compass 2, point the head of the aircraft downwards and slowly rotate the aircraft in a clockwise direction. When the LED indicators on the aircraft turn solid, calibration is completed. Simultaneously, pull the joysticks diagonally down and out to start the aircraft. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.